Hey, this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast, Magic with Gadgets. Today I want to show you just how easy it is to air fry acorn squash. Well, before we dive into this recipe, I just wanted to suggest that you head over to RecipeThis.com. We've got more than 1,200 kitchen gadget recipes, including recipes for the air fryer, instant pot, slow cooker, soup maker, bread maker, microwave, ninja foodie, and many others. We also have a free weekly newsletter, which you can find on the homepage of RecipeThis.com, or you can find it on RecipeThis.com forward slash newsletter. And there you can get our best kitchen gadget recipes sent to your inbox every Friday morning. If you've not had acorn squash before, then it looks like this. And it's something I haven't tried myself until about a year ago. And that's because there's not many winter squashes to choose from in Portugal. So when we moved back to England, I made sure I grabbed some from one of the local farmers that was offering the pumpkin picking and to see if I liked them. Well, I'm back a year later with some more. And this time I'm going to do a video for you showing you how to make sweet acorn squash in the air fryer. So you can go sweet, you can go savoury. It's totally a personal choice, but pretty much everybody I've asked prefers sweet. They like it with some seasoning on, as well as either some honey or some maple syrup. We'll be using some honey, but of course you could swap this for maple syrup. And then for other ingredients, you know, I recommend the most, just keeping it simple with some ground cinnamon and some nutmeg. But one other flavour that I'm absolutely obsessed with when it's fall season and all the winter squashes is out is some pumpkin spice mix. So I'm using some of the uh, McCormick, is it called? Not not her fair that much with the brand. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some of this as well to the acorn squash because it's delicious. So there's my point. You know, you can mix and match with whatever seasonings you want. And you'll also need some extra virgin olive oil spray so that you can spray the acorn before it's air fried. And air fried acorn squash for the method of cooking it is not really much different to our air fried spaghetti squash. Um, with the spaghetti squash, you cut in the end or off it so that it would stand straight. Then you're um, cutting it in half. You're removing all the uh, seeds and whatnot and then you're seasoning it. Well, it's the exact same method when it comes to acorn squash. But of course, it cooks quicker in the air fryer because it's much smaller. So now I'm going to be passing you over to my lovely husband, Dominic, and he's going to be showing you how to professionally cut the acorn squash because he's a chef of many, many years and he does a much better job than me. So over to Dominic, he's going to chop the end off first so that it's easier to stand. I always need that straight bit. And if you've got a really, really big one, you could do it into quarters instead of halves. Just let it see on the size that you've got. Oh, you really need to push the knife down. Lots of patience here. So those are what the halves actually look like. And those are the seeds that need to come out in the middle. And then it's personal choice whether you want them like that or if you want to do them half again so that you've got quarters. Dominic's going to do ours into quarters simply because ours are absolutely huge. I looked at them when the farmer passed me them and I'm like, oh, we flew. And I couldn't believe how big they were. So, oh wow, so we're into quarters now. And remember, the area where the seeds are is going to be where uh, you can put all your see lovely seasonings. I mean, I'd always wanted to try these, but I was quite shocked by how delicious they were. So I've just bought another um, 10 from a farmer's market. And there you have it. There's your four acorns. And that's how much has come out the middle. And then have a bowl of something that's handy and a big dessert spoon. And it makes the process so much easier. 
and now it's just a case of seasoning them ready for the air fryer and getting rid of any bits of seed that's kind of flown as you've been uh, spooning it out and then start spray of extra virgin olive oil it helps make them make them lovely when they're roasted but it also helps the seasoning stick to them And then, like I mentioned, we're going with uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, and pumpkin spice. I love pumpkin spice. It, it tastes so delicious, and I'm always the one that's straight to Starbucks as soon as pumpkin season happens. Oh, wow. They look so lovely. I love the colour from the sprinklings of the seasonings. And I have tried them savoury, but they just don't do it for me in the same way that they do when they're sweet like this. It's just so nice. Wow. Oh, they look perfect. Dominic's doing a brilliant job there. And then air fryer basket out. And then make sure that the flesh side up and they're not going to fall over and if you look there four of them just absolutely perfectly fit the air fryer basket so you could do two small ones or one large one like we've done and then you're looking for a temperature of 180 celsius that's 360 fahrenheit and a cook time of 10 minutes then we can check on them and add the honey if the honey is added too soon um then it'll end up getting burnt and press start this is the acorn so far and i'm sure you agree it's looking fantastic already so now the final step is to add in a little bit of extra seasoning so back to my addiction for pumpkin spice a little extra sprinkle and the best bit of all we have honey and then the best with the squeezy bottles because then you can just put a little bit in the center on each of them and then cook it for another five minutes and oh, it's amazing i could eat these all year round it's just gutting that i can only get them at a certain time and then of course when you put them back in make sure that they're all still up and they haven't been knocked about by the air fryer same temperature 180 celsius that's 360 fahrenheit and a cook time of five minutes. And we've beeped. Oh, wow. Wow. That sizzling sounds from the honey. And then uh, should, this should come with a health warning. Remember that honey is going to be absolutely piping hot. Do not have it yet. Please wait for it to cool down. And then you just want to check to see if you fork tender. And we are. So look, I can get my fork all the way through that one and that one as well. So oh lovely. I just need these to cool down before I try them because obviously the honey, I will have accidents. So the food of my dreams has finally cooled down enough so that I can tuck in. So let me show you what it's like. As you can still see the lovely honey bits on there. Oh look. <laughs> Oh, that is so good. Oh. Calling all pumpkin spice addicts. You must make this. And then you can just eat it like this with a fork. It comes up perfectly. And it's so nice. Look at that. And of course, if you hate pumpkin spice, you can do a savoury version as well with your favourite savoury herbs and then just throw it in the air fryer the same way that we've done. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the Recipe This family. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook and Pinterest. We also have a weekly newsletter at recipethis.com forward slash newsletter where we share with you our latest kitchen gadget recipes, what we're cooking in the Milner kitchen and so much more. 
as well as this, we recommend that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and then whenever we have a new video, you will be the first to know. And if you want to know about all our future videos, then I recommend you hit the bell for instant notifications. But even better, we now have a podcast. It's called Magic with Gadgets. Simply search Magic with Gadgets on your favourite podcast player and you'll find us there. 